I'm going to take you through letter by letter how to do a hand lettered holiday card. We're going to do one letter every day for the next two weeks. Now all that is left is the H. Right now we've got a little bit of an appy word going on, but we need to finish it off with that. <laughs> so it's pretty much the simplest thing ever. Uh, it's just two stems, like we did with, with the A, the first stem, P, the stem, stem. And they're going to be equal height, and we've established this width, so we're going to approximate that. And then we're just going to do a little, little kinky bar, a little connected down. So do the our same sort of method. I'm, I'm going to go from the base of the A because it's, it's, a, it's a nice spot there. So jump there, jump there, jump there, and then boom. So. I'm going to sort of come up in a fairly straight line, as straight as you can get, and then across from the tip of that A, and just try and find that, that nice little boop. And so now we've got the first two lines of the right stem of the H. I'm just going to have a look at that, and I feel like I've just kind of maybe gone a little bit too far to the left, so I'm going to do that same widthening, because it's at the moment it's a bit thin, we're going to make it the same weight as these other letters, but I'm going to do it to the right now, and that'll help make the spacing look a little bit better. There we go. See, now that space looks a bit nicer, a bit more even. And so now we just have to do its left stem, and I'm kind of using this, this piece of paper now as a bit of a guideline as well, which is, which is a good method as well, as long as that edge is straight, it's machine cut, and then the other, the other side's are hand cut. So I'm going to come across that line, find that same width within the H, and I think that's pretty good. Come up, there, connect those lines. Make sure that the width is right, and the weight of that line. And we go, we got the skeleton of the and we just have to connect those two lines. And so that, that same consistent line that goes through the A and the P, we match with the first, the first line that we're going to make in the H. But the character of this H is that it, it, sort of, it has a bit of a wave, so it dips down. So we're going to start with that first line there. I made a, little, made a little dot just so I can kind of anchor myself and it has just a wave in the center so we're just going to do sort of a little, little weird wave so it's going to come across and down and there we go so it's good to just sort of be confident in those moves you know just do it straight away otherwise it might get a little shaky and you just want to get the character there so and then you can widthen it up once you've got it so I'm just going to fill that out make sure that width is this is consistent. There we are. Happy.